Alrighty, my friends, we have a shot at greatness here. We have a rare pinky spawn, and these guys have a slightly higher than normal chance of dropping a slime stab. So if we could get one of those to start off today's episode, then I am going to be incredibly happy. Come on, Finchy. Good grief for you slow. But to be fair, it's a very, very small hitbox that it has to try and go for. So yeah, have some patience, my friends. And yes, I'm telling myself that as well. Ugh, this is gonna take a while. Come on. In my opinion, though, here's what I think they should do. I think they should ramp up the drop chance of a slime staff if you manage to take down Pinky with a summoner-specific weapon. Like, I'm not the only one thinking that the slime staff needs just a teensy tiny bit of love, especially for those folks like me who are going for a bit of a completionist goal with collecting all 38 summon weapons when this fight has taken so long that it's actually about to become night time and I'm about to have a whole new roost of dudes to take down with Finchy boy. Oh, good sweet lord. Anytime now, right? Anytime now. Come on. Come on. He's almost dead. Oh, there we go. And what do you know? No slime staff. But anyways, welcome back here to another episode of the Terraria Summoner playthrough here on Expert Mode 1.4.4. Thank you so much for all of the wonderful support in the last episode, reaching over 1,200 likes, which is the highest amount of support I've seen in a fair while on this channel. I really appreciate it. Of course, if you want to continue supporting this series and the channel, do be sure, of course, to drop a like beneath the video. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you really want to go one further with your support, use code Python when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. Now, yes, you did just see me take down an owl, and there is, in fact, a very good reason for that. Guys, we need to try to get ourselves to the point of having 10% of the bestiary completed, okay? And the reason we want to do that is because then we can get the zoologist to spawn in. And that is its criteria for spawning in. You need to have 10% of the bestiary filled in. So I'm using the filters here in an attempt to spot where the most amount of things to discover are. And, well, to be honest with you, I think the underground caverns are the way to go. So, yeah, what do you think? I think it's time for me and Finchy Boy to go down underground. But before we do that, check this out. I always forget that you can actually make the 100 healing potions. You only require glowing mushrooms, and we got those in the last episode. So check it out. We can now heal 100 health at a time. Also in today's episode, I thought it would be a marvelous idea for us to finally go for the Flink's fur coat, and therefore really begin on our journey towards becoming a summoner in this series, my friends. But first of all, I think what I'd like to do is make a bed. So let's see if we've got the resources to do that. I do believe we might actually. Uh, in order to save on the spending of the lead bars here, I'm actually going to buy an anvil. We're going to put it down here, my friendos. We're going to make ourselves, where are they? There we are, a bunch of chains. And now we should be able to make ourselves a sawmill. We'll put the sawmill, say, up here. And with the sawmill, we, of course, make ourselves the loom. And we use the loom to make ourselves five bits of silk. And then back to the sawmill to make ourselves the bed. And there we have it. And it goes without saying, the reason I want the bed is because not only is it nice for setting spawn points, even though I don't necessarily need to, more so, the reason I made it is because I want to be able to skip time just a bit quicker so I can get myself to morning and therefore have a slightly easier time exploring the world with my Finchy boy. And there we have it, my friends, in daytime. Let's go exploring. Let's see if we can get 10% bestiary. We'll be able to get ourselves the leather whip at that point from the zoologist. So, yeah, we haven't actually explored a great deal on the left. Oh, that's that's quite poor. Oh dear. <laughs> I had no idea that the crimson was literally there. It is really not that far away from our central world spawn at all. In fact, what I feel like we need to do is we need to place down a couple of sunflowers, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, there you go. <laughs> You're not going anywhere anytime soon there, Mr. Crimson Biome. Although, with that said and done, maybe we could try our hand at getting Mr. Finchy Boy to maybe take some dudes down around here because we haven't taken anyone down in the Crimson yet. Therefore, we can start filling in the bestiary if and when we take some of these guys down. Aha! 
140 health. Oh, good sweet lord. This is not going to go well, is it? Oh, yep. Yeah, and there we have it. We've got multiple dudes here now, my friendos. Oh, come on. It's weird. This might just be the first ever time I'm trying to take down new dudes for the simple fact that I want to fill in the bestiary. <laughs> That's the cool thing about playing these class playthroughs, you know? You start playing the game in slightly different ways and discovering new ways of doing things and doing new things for the first time. So, yeah. Let's see how we do against all of these dudes. <laughs> I'm bringing these guys over. Oh, no. Okay, um, right, uh, kind of in trouble here, although with that said, I might be able to use the NPCs here to actually kill some of these guys, eh? Yeah, okay, I wonder if NPCs killing these guys here is actually enough to unlock them on the bestiary. So there we go, we're up to 9.07%, we just need to go ahead and find ourselves maybe a few more dudes, and I feel like going down to the underground caverns is going to be our best and probably safest bet right now. I did have some nice bits of feedback coming in regarding this uh, little house here, the chief among which was us going ahead and putting in some leaf walls, because there was a little bit of a gap where the daylight sort of seeped through between the wood block and the leaf block here, so yeah, the leaf walls really do work out quite nicely, don't they? You know? Adds to the whole feel of this place. And I really enjoy that. So thank you so much for that suggestion, folks. So then, headed back on the ground, we are looking for epic goodies. If we could get ourselves some more heart crystals, maybe some more accessories and goodies in general, that would, of course, be very, very nice. Now, in order to speed this thing up a little bit, we're actually going to throw down some bombs. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm not being funny. I'm not the only one hearing clicking sounds right now, right? That tells me that there is a pressure plate somewhere. And probably, as a result, a cave system as well. Hmm. Maybe we go exploring just a little bit here. The clicking is getting louder. And definitely more common as well. <laughs> Where the devil is it, man? Oh! A skeleton statue continuously being set off, is it? That's what the clicking was. Ah, oh, man, there's me thinking there'd be an underground house down here. Well, that wasn't really worth it now, was it? <laughs> ah! Okay, I might be able to fashion this into a bit of a sort of farm dealio here. If I was to get these guys to just sort of come down here. Yeah, look at that! Oh my god, Finchy boy is going in. <laughs> I just realized what's been setting off these skeletons, even despite me not doing it myself. There's a little rat or mouse just going over it. <laughs> I never thought a critter would be this useful. This is brilliant. Ah, uh, okay, I may have been wasting my time here, my friendos. I mean, really, the only thing I might be able to get from these skeletons is a hook. And to be fair, that would still be relatively useful for making ourselves a nice basic grappling hook. Uh, but aside from that, no, you cannot get bone pickaxes from these guys. It's only the ancient miner dudes that uh, can drop those bad boys. About the most we can get from these guys is ancient armor, some milk, a carton of milk more specifically, and a bone sword, which obviously is something that we cannot use. So, I mean, if we can get a hook, then that's actually not going to be too bad. Now, if only we could find one of these little pre-made farms, but it has a slime statue on the end of it instead. All right, bestiary now at 9.63%. If I was to go ahead... I don't think I can kill these guys with summons. If I was to kill this critter... Uh, what would that bring it up to? Let's have a look. See? 9.63. Okay, so we're taking one down before. Oh, nice. Uh, that worm, I think, might have been enough. Oh, almost. Literally, like, one more enemy, and then we can get the zoologist to spawn in. And I know some of you guys are probably going to be telling me that I should be making myself the snap spawn. Well, I kind of want to do this in sort of proper progression order. And the leather whip, I believe, anyway, is the first one that is in progression order. The snap thorn, of course, I think would come after that. So, yeah, for now, I 
want to get myself the leather whip, and I want to see what it's capable of doing. Ah, Mr. Jellyfish. My good sir, I do believe that you are going to be the dude that brings me to over 10% of the bestiary, yes? Oh, 10% on the dot. Very nice. Uh, right, we have one of these dudes for whatever reason. Wow. The Finchy boy is actually pretty decent at taking down these little antline swarm of flying guys. Hey, Ellen the zoologist. Oh, that's big, my friends. That is big, baby. You know what? I'm not even going to delay. I'm not even going to delay. I don't have enough money. Okay, uh, right. I should be able to fix that up, though. Uh, I've got myself some little gems here and there. I might be able to uh, scrape up enough. Uh, what else to try and sell to scrape up enough money? I don't know. Maybe the silver here? That might just tip us over to the point of being able to do this thing. Uh, oh, yeah. One gold. Hey. All right. Boom. <laughs> we done got one, my friends. And, of course, because we have the auto fire feature in 1.4.4, it means that we have a full auto whip. So, there we have it, my friends. We now have the ultimate start when it comes to being a summoner. And I am very, very happy to say that. Oh, hell yeah, dude. All right, that means we should be able to take down enemies with absolute ease now, okay? Absolute ease. So, what are we going to do next? I think the time has come for us to find ourselves the snow biome, which, of course, is going to be on the left-hand side of the world, past the crimson. Yikes. We need to kill some snow flinxes, and then we should be able to do this thing, my friends. We should be able to do it. So, yeah, Python plus Whip a plus Finchy Boy. Oh, my goodness. Get ready, pre-hard mode Terraria, because I have basically won this now. <laughs> Ain't no one taking me out. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Me. I can do so much damage now. Oh, it's just brilliant, though, isn't it? Being able to do all this damage. Oh, okay. We still need to be relatively careful, though, because we have an extraordinarily low amount of defense. <laughs> These guys could probably still pretty easily kill me. Um, ah, okay. There we are. There we are. Yeah, getting vertebrae as well. That's actually pretty handy dandy, my friends. Hey, look at that. There's a chest. Ooh. Well, oh, good sweet lord. I wasn't expecting him to do that. Okay. Come on, world. End the crimson. End the crimson. Oh, good lord. Wow, this terrain is really bad. <laughs> it's like little holes everywhere that I could just fall down and die. Oh, I just killed a penguin. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, right, the good news is, though, we have indeed found ourselves the snow biome. Now, if I could get myself to the underground snow biome to the point of being able to get snowflinks to spawn in, then, yeah, we might have ourselves a good time. No sign of any entrances to the underground snow biome, so that means I'm gonna have to make my way down there manually. Ah, oh, jeez. I hate doing this. I wish there were better cave entrances, man. Come on. Oh, hang on. No, hang on. Hang on. I, I may take that back. I may take that back. There is indeed a bit of an entrance around here at the very least. Okay. There's a little water chest down there. That's kind of cool. All right. How about a flipper for you, boy? Yeah. All right. Very cool, Terraria. Ah! Why wouldn't it let me jump? I was pressing space a lot there, and it just wouldn't let me jump. A <laughs> first death of the series, and it was that. Really. Really, Python. Really, though. <laughs> That's pretty embarrassing, man. Well, rip. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to just hide the evidence right there. I don't want people to know that I died there in that stupid of a way. All right, so here we are, my friends. The underground snow biome. What I'm looking for in particular, of course, are the little snowflinks dudes. Now, apparently in 1.4.4, the spawn conditions and criteria for those guys was actually changed. Uh, what it was changed to, I've got absolutely no idea. We'll have to figure that out as we go along here. But what we're going to start off with is a nice life crystal. You'll love to see it. Whoa, that is an enormous cave. Oh, 
Holy moly! All right, so not only do we appear to have ourselves a chest here, we also have ourselves an underground house with hopefully another chest. I mean, that'd be kind of awesome, wouldn't it? Uh, all right, let's start off with this bad boy. A ice skates for the eventual frost spark and terror spark boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a good start, my friends. All right, let's go ahead and uh, make our way down here to where there is indeed another chest. Wow! This is amazing. Oh, snappity snap snappers. Love to see it. All right, so uh, let's see what we've got here. We've got ourselves the ice boomerang. Obviously, would have been useful to make ourselves the trimerang, but we're not going for that in the series, obviously. Still no sign of any flinxes, unfortunately. Maybe soon we can get one? I don't really know, to be honest with you. Uh, oh, jeez. I think I made a mistake here. Oh. <laughs> this thing does very, very weak knockback. In fact, both of these things combined still have weak knockbacks, so we need to be careful. We can't just go ahead and just keep people at bay like we may want to. Oh, we have ourselves a skeleton merchant. I've got to be honest, I don't think that there's actually anything this guy is going to be able to sell me that's actually, like, good. Ah, okay. This artisan loaf, on the other hand. Ooh, that is kind of nice. Uh, we also have ourselves climbing claws. I had no idea that even in normal Terraria worlds, this guy would start selling items from, what, underground chests or surface chests or whatever they may be. So this thing is probably going to be quite useful, actually. So, yeah, sure, we'll buy them. Everything else, though, is just kind of, eh, don't really need any of it. Oh, great, a spider biome. Ah, uh, you know what? There is actually something that I could try to get from this if I'm very, very lucky. If I could get myself... Oh, no, the web slinger. Oh, oh God. Uh, if I could get myself the web slinger from one of the uh, web-covered chests, that'd be kind of nice. Ah, oh, nothing here, in fact, at all. That's kind of disappointing, isn't it? Whoa, okay. <laughs> Ooh, Terraria! Trying your best to kill me right now, huh? If I didn't have my eye on the game right there, what probably would have happened is that dart would have hit me down to here and the detonator would have explodified me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Glad that I had my eye on the ball there, my friends. The good news is, though, guys, check it out. There is indeed a snowflinks down there, and I believe it's actually going to be six snowflinks fur that we need in order to make ourselves the snowflinks coat so yeah we're gonna need to farm out at least a few of these guys part of me really wants to explode that detonator just to see what happens so um boom <laughs> all right come on flinksy boy give me your fur i want it all oh two all right so we need four more. Hey, a life crystal. Never ever going to complain about those bad boys. Oh boy. Oh boy. Kill the undead viking before it kills me. Oh, flipping heck. Oh, oh no, there's another one. Okay. 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 I guess we can deal with this though. Come on. Bone pickaxe and I'm going to be the happiest guy in the entire world. Come on. Oh, we got steak. You know what? I'm not going to complain about that. If this was real life, I'd be very happy with having a steak right now. I love my steaks. I'll tell you what else I love. More heart crystals. Yeah. All right. What's that? 220 health? Dang. Hey, web covered chest. There it is. The web slinger. Oh, my word. All that time I spent earlier trying to get myself a friggin' hook. I mean, we didn't get one, but it's still a bit of a waste of time because now we've got a web slinger. We finally, finally, finally have our first freaking grappling hook. Huh. Another web covered chest. Didn't realize you could find two of them in the same biome. Well, my friends, I know where I'm coming to get myself the spider armor later on in the game. This freaking spider biome seems to go on literally forever. Good lord. Oh, wait, no. I think we actually have found the end of it. Ow! Oh, wait, no, no, no. Hang on a minute. There's still a freaking massive section to the bottom right that we haven't explored of this thing. <laughs> this is craziness, man. Huh. Another skeleton merchant. Hello there, sir. Guy to plant fiber cordage. Okay. Hmm. Not really too much of anything else going on. So we're just going to leave him. Oh, for goodness sake. How many more spider biomes are there in this world? <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, my word. How did I survive that? I think the cactus thorns actually made me kill that guy. <laughs> 
Ooh. Web stylist, huh? Oh, she's right there as well. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this foul spider needs to go bye-bye slow. Please go. Please go away. There we are. I would very much like to have myself another NPC on the roster. Hello there, Kylie. Lovely stuff. Ah, oh, there's a flinksy boy down here, my friends. All right, we need to go ahead and uh, take this poor fellow out of the game. Come on. Give me some fur. Give me some fur. What have we got here? Three. Wow, okay. Uh, we need only one more bit of Flink's fur then. Oh, and there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Right, as far as I know, these guys are guaranteed to always drop at least one Flink's fur. So this one should be the last one, yes? Yeah, baby. It's just come to my attention as well that there is, of course, a summon weapon that we can make with the Flink's fur. Ah. Uh... I can't remember how much Flink's fur is actually needed. I may need to consult the wiki for that one, my friends. Oh, my word. Uh, guys, the dungeon is on my left. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't need to go any further to our left-hand side now, do we? Well, since we seem to be getting a fairly all right amount of Flink's, is good luck. There's two of them here. Since we seem to be getting a good amount... There's Tim! Hey, buddy! Oh, man. This guy's got to die. This guy's got to die. Come on, fella. All right. And there we go. So we get a gold coin for our troubles. And what do you know? A wizard hat. I mean, the increased defense by itself has got to be worth it. But then again, we would lose our permanent thorns effect, wouldn't we? And that thorns effect literally saved us earlier on in the episode. So, you know, I think it might be worth keeping on the cactus armor just for now anyway. Uh, I'd like to make myself the Flink's fur coat and maybe even if we have the resources, I would also like to try and make myself the Snow Flink's summon weapon. Uh, but yeah, give me a sec. I'm going to consult the wiki. I'm going to see how many bits of Flink's fur we actually need. Ah, okay. I was actually wrong in my memory. I thought it only took six Flink's fur to be able to make the Flink's fur coat. Turns out it's actually eight. It's six Flink's fur if you want to make the Flink's staff. So what that means for us is we need a grand total of 14 Flink's fur. And what do you know? There's a couple of Flinksy boys down there. <laughs> Can we kill them before the water kills me though that is the real question isn't it and are we gonna get was it three flinks fur that's what we need can we get the three flinks fur we need from these two? Oh yeah we got it from one guy ah brilliant so yeah turns out it's the very very bottom of the snow biome which is the best location in which to find flinxes unfortunately my friends there's still no sign of a slime statue i was keeping a weather eye out for one of them but, um, yeah, unfortunately, to no avail, one did not present itself to me, sadly. All right, never mind, my friends. I mean, the slime staff, it's going to be more of a collection thingy now, a completionist thing. I don't imagine we're going to be winding up having the slime staff do more damage than the stuff that we're either going to have or stuff that we're going to make. Uh, so, yeah. Ah, well, doesn't matter too much. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our goal completed, though. And not just that, we also have some gold bars straight off the rip here. Uh, I can't remember, though. Uh, what is it we need? Uh, ah, silk. Okay, okay. Silk is easily gotten, isn't it? I mean, we did just go through quite a lot of spider biomes, didn't we? <laughs> Over a thousand cobweb. That's what we managed to get, is it? <laughs> <laughs> My good grief, that's a lot. Ooh, that is a lot, a lot. All right, so 10 bits of silk coming right up. Uh, where is it that we make this thing? Oh, it is actually at the loom. Oh, okay. Increases max number of minions by one. Yeah. We can finally have two flinksy boys, fellas. Yeah, very cool. Okay, not only that, but we have increased defense with the wizard hat as well. Yes, we've lost the thorns effect, unfortunately, but we have the ability to have an extra minion finally. Hey, hey. So then, time to grab ourselves a furnace. We make ourselves some more gold bars here, and we try to find wherever it is we make ourselves the flinks staff. Is it over here? It is indeed. There it is. All right, so we got seven damage with the Agile Finch Staff. We have ourselves eight damage with the Flinks Staff. Okay. Yeah, look at that. We got two little snowball boys following us. 
<laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Okay, very cool, my friends. Very cool. So, episode goals complete. Not only have we managed to get ourselves the Flinx Fair coat, but we've also got the Flinx staff as well. So, already it is time to retire our little Finchy boys. Those little fellas did do me justice for a good amount of time there, but the time has come to be retired. I'm sorry there, fellas. But needs must. I need that increased damage, believe you me. It's worth noting, of course, that we will be needing more Flinx fur if we're wanting to take down Deerclops a little bit later in the series. So, yes, we do need to get back to doing that. You know, taking down more Flinxy boys. Uh, we just had this guy spawn in, though. Pretty interested to see what he's got. A fedora. Interesting. Uh, cargo summon. We've got the stopwatch. Already got that. And we've got shingles and dynasty wood. Hmm. Okay. Not really anything interesting there, to be honest with you. All right. For now, then, my friends, I think it is time to wrap up the episode. We've got our episode end goals done, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. So, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. I would very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for all your support. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.